Okay, so we want to look for a minute at how we can partition our disks. All I've done so far is I've started up a new virtual machine, started the Linux install, and answered all the appropriate questions up until I got to partition disks. Now, note this, this is the server install. Um, graphical install, you might have a different set of questions. But here I am, I'm stopped at the partition screen. I think on our first install, we did a guided, we said just use the entire disk. And uh, we don't want to do that this time. We want to actually manually set our partitions. And if you remember, we're going to need at least two partitions, at least our root partition for the root file system. We're also going to need a swap partition. We're going to add a couple more. So I, I made my virtual machine about 20 gigs. And so now I'm going to come into that disk. And I'm going to, yep, create a new empty partition table, free space, and we're going to go in and edit that free space. So I'm going to create a new partition. This is going to be for my root file system. I don't know, let's give it four gigs, just to make sure it's good. That's going to be primary at the beginning of our disk. And we're going to leave it as ext4, although we could hit enter and go in and change that, but I'm not going to change anything. I'll leave it ext4. Uh, the mount point, this is going to be my root file system, so it will mount at the slash or the root. And all the other stuff looks okay. So I'm done setting up that partition. Now I'll go into the next free space, and I'll create another root partition, or another partition, I should say. This is going to be for my home directories. Now that's going to be 6 gigs. Primary, beginning, <clears throat> and I'll also leave that ext4. And the mount point now, that will show up under my home directory. And all the rest looks okay. Defaults is fine. Uh, I'm not going to assign it a label and it's not bootable. So I'm done setting up that partition. Let's do one more. Uh, well, two more actually. Let's do it. Create a new partition. This one's going to be for my var file system, maybe. Continue. Actually, uh, so let's go back. Let's make that a little bigger. So I'll make that two gigs for my var. It's also going to be primary, beginning. And we'll change the mount point to var. Now note the other ones in there that we can actually use. Um, but var looks okay for this one. And I'm done setting up that partition. Remember the other one I said we've got to have is swap. And swap is going to be roughly double my RAM. So I have 512 mega RAM. So I'll make this a gig. And this one, <clears throat> I'm going to make logical. Just because we can only have four primary partitions on our hard drive. And... I'm going to want to add some more partitions later on. I'm leaving some existing free space for that very purpose. So this is going to be a logical partition. We can have several more logical partitions. But this is also going to be at the beginning of the end of my available space. And I'm going to change this to mount point. Um, or actually, I'm sorry. That's, I meant to click there. This is going to be swap area. And then we are done setting up the partition. I still have a little bit of free space left and I'm going to leave that so I can come back and do some more tinkering later on after the system is installed. Right now I'll finish partition, write changes to disk, and it will create those partitions. After this is done, it should just begin installing the system and continue on with stuff we already know how to do. And then uh, it will reboot and we will be able to see our new partition.